Hi, I'm Dave Willey, and today I want to do some really great demos for you using sulfur hexafluoride. Sulfur hexafluoride is a colorless, tasteless, chemically inert gas. It doesn't conduct electricity. Let me show you why we call this stuff anti-helium. Instead of making my voice go up like helium, this makes my voice go down. This is a lot more dense than air is, about five times as dense. And what it's doing now is it's filtering out all of the high notes from my voice. But hang on. It's also stopping the oxygen getting to me. Let me show you how this balloon with the sulfur hexafluoride in it is a lot heavier than this one with just air. <laughs> All right, so let's get this filling. Now, you might wonder what we use sulfur hexafluoride for. There's lots of uses. It's used as the gas between double pane windows to provide sound insulation. We fill electrical transformers with it because it just will not conduct electricity. It's a very, very good insulator. The British Secret Service released this into the London Underground system one time to simulate an attack by terrorists. And America even has a torpedo that's powered by this stuff. I got a demo here for you that I'm hoping will float your boat. Well, at least float my boat for me. I'm going to make a boat out of this aluminum foil, and I'm going to see if I can float it in that gas for you. So here we go. Let's make a nice boat shape here. Not exactly too elegant, but I think it'll work. If you've got a boat that's floating, there's really only one thing to do with it, right? <laughs> Take some dish detergent. And blow some bubbles, see if we can get them to float on the sulfur hexafluoride. Just float a lot of bubbles. You can do this with bubbles. It ought to be possible to do it with a balloon. Let's see. And it doesn't just float, it bounces now. Yep, you can tell that there's still stuff in there. Because if I light this candle, we'll be able to tell what height this is at. Yeah, obviously not there. So as we come down, yep, right there. Now, this ought to put this flame right out. And sure enough, it does. So, who wants more fire? Seeing as how now I've lit all of the candles, there's really only one thing to do, and that's extinguishing more using the sulfur hexafluoride. So, let me get a nice big bucket full of sulfur hexafluoride out of here. Bring it over and pour it down the ramp. How beautiful, they're all out. Sulfur hexafluoride, gotta love it. Really heavy stuff. 